That's right, the mother receiving the call that her daughter had been killed from her 11-year-old granddaughter. The family reeling as they try to figure out exactly who pulled the trigger in this case. In this shooting on the city's south side that happened early Saturday morning, 10 people were gunned down. This young mother died. Surveillance cameras were rolling, though, as this all happened. Kim Fier Miles was 29 years old, the mom of three out with some friends on 75th Street when she was shot and killed. I guess the police was trying to clear the area and someone, somebody came out and just started shooting. Police say two men opened fire into the crowd in the 7500 block of South Prairie Avenue early Saturday morning. At least nine others wounded by gunfire in the Park Manor mass shooting. Kim's mom tells me she found out about that shooting from her 11 year old granddaughter. Her daughter had called me and say um, that her Kim was shot. She was crying and, you know, I was asking her questions and stuff, so she really didn't know a lot, so I just had to go with what she was telling me. Kim did not make it. Just another sad story on Chicago for you. The shooting happened in Alderman Roderick Sawyer's sixth ward. I was on the phone with a resident uh, as it was happening. Police working to clear the streets when those shots were fired. For someone to be so brazen as to shoot when the police were right there in front of them, I, I just don't know what to say about something like that. But I do know they will be caught and they will be prosecuted. 75th Street is a bustling business district, home to several black-owned businesses. Earlier this year, Vice President Kamala Harris was in the area visiting Brown Sugar Bakery. Alderman Sawyer says this shooting will not undo the years of hard work in the area. In a place where people can come enjoy themselves and when they finish, go home. Kim's family more alert now than ever to the crime across the city. I don't go to Chicago events at all because you can be at the wrong place at the wrong time and it could be anybody. This afternoon, nobody is in custody in connection to this mass shooting that happened on the city's south side. If you have any information, call Chicago police.